I still remember when I was a little boy. I was so excited about speed. And when I was 15, 16, uh, then I really started to play with those radio controlled boats. Uh, those small ones, no, nothing expensive. And I definitely wanted to become a race driver and drive something. And I knew that it was almost impossible because the dream was so big that I didn't see any chance um, because I was living in uh, Little City was studying that time and when I finally get ready from school I start working and moved my own house uh, I thought well now I may have a little bit of a chance because all I ever really wanted to do is drive fast uh, do something with my hands and not drive something ready to race thing but planned and pulled something by my own hands and at that time in Finland in the late 90s early 2000 we had already some boat racing series and drivers but they were very far away where I lived and I didn't know anybody who had some fast boat or was racing driver or something so I take my computer and uh, look to the internet and I can still remember when I found American website called Scream and Fly so uh, I saw a video there which was, which was uh, called Old Poor Overkill and <clears throat> I was amazed how beautiful beautiful those STVs were and how nicely those fly over water and I was like what the fuck are those and those things are something that I wanna drive someday and I think the year was 2006 when I saw first time in real life of saw race in Finland and spent some time in a pit lane where was those offshore catamarans and I can still remember that feeling when I was thinking how lucky those drivers are uh, when they can drive those beautiful boats and listen to those two-stroke engines and I spent much as time as I could there where the boats were and I just wanted to take so many pictures and videos that I could and that helped me about almost two years to survive in the beginning but I wanted so bad to do a race boat and go racing and at that time I think I had the idea of the future and of I like you know I thought wait a second they are only humans who uh, planned and built these boats why don't I can do the same thing and I didn't have any idea what to do, but I knew I needed more information about boats, especially those catamaran boats. So in 2009 I was surfing in internet and found much more about boats and uh, the final break was when I found Jim Russell from Air Mariner Research and the software that he used is so good. And it helped me very, very much uh, of building my own race boat. And after that, I think I found Rauno Kossila from Finland who helped me about those 3D model things with my boat. So uh, without I had ever driven or been in a pontoon boat, I started planning and building my own race boat. And I just somehow knew that I could be a man who can do that and without so many people laughed about my idea of building something like that and even my dad seems to be like he didn't care or didn't understand what I was doing and after six months of building my boat my dad once visited <laughs> in my garage and look for a minute my boat and said only one thing girls give up actually I wrote that to my garage wall to remind me that I would never give up and let my dad say that he was right so failure was no option then and I just had to make that boat work and race and I get so much help from my little brother Esa and Valtteri who's a very good friend of mine and I get 
so much help, especially those hard times when I was almost give up for the whole project. Those guys helped me and pushed me more forward. And but I didn't realize how much impact would it make. I mean, so many has get courage to leave their dreams and start doing something. Um, my name is Ari Nurminen from Hurja Marine, but everybody calls me Hurja. And remember, once you free your mind and believe in yourself, you can do whatever you want. And all I ever wanted to do is drive fast. <laughs>